So here we are at day like what? 3,652 into the corona quarantine? And I thought I might share what I as a breeder, exhibitor, and dog lover did to prepare for it and some of the projects I have in store to keep me busy. So here we go. A peek into staying at home with a house full of chihuahuas and a whippet. Oh yeah, and a cat. Yeah, that is very true. This is as real as it gets, peeps. I live in workout clothes, wear no makeup, but I do run a brush through my hair. But honestly, that's about it. Welcome to my Day in the Life vlog series, where you get a sneak peek into my life. The good, the bad, and all the poop. So, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment or two down below, and then ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. I suppose I should start by telling you there are four main things that I focus on in my life. People I care about and love because they are, honestly, the icing on my cake. My awesomely amazing dogs. My healthy lifestyle because, honestly, I'm telling you, it's never just a diet. And good music that makes me smile and dance. Everything else, well, it is what it is. So with that said, every day in my life, whether quarantined or not, starts with me waking up. Alexa, turn on the silver light. Okay. Morning, peeps. <sighs> oh, boy. <sighs> Getting dressed, including my trusty eye watch, because I never seem to go anywhere without it or my rubber bands on my wrist. And as promised, running a brush through my hair. And then, taking care of the dogs. My dogs are crate trained, which makes my life so much easier. For those of you out there that feel that crates are too confining or cruel, I'm here to tell you it's the exact opposite. You see, dogs are den animals, so the crate will give your dog a sense of security. When you have more than one dog in your house, it is always a good idea to give them their own spot. This will keep them out of trouble when they can't be supervised. You know, like when you're out of the house or while you're sleeping at night, I let them out of their crates and right to the backyard they go. You know, emptying bladders and such. And after their bladders are empty, I get to fill mine with my go-go juice. Yep, I've gotten to be a really good girl. And now I only drink one cup of coffee. But it's always the biggest cup I can find. Oh yeah. Now, who could blame me if I decided to take a quick little pause to say hello to my little pack of chi-chis, but then on to my next must-do item. Now, I am intentionally not recording the amount of shit that I pick up throughout the day. Made that decision off right from the get-go, but laundry? Yeah. No, I will not spare you the laundry. Yep. Next to poop, it's laundry. Something I spend a lot of my day having to manage. From washing the washable pee pads. Hi, Stella. To folding the clean ones for easy swap outs. To washing and then, of course, drying the crate beds and dog beds throughout the house. I am doing at least three to four loads of laundry a day. And you can double that when I have litters of puppies. So I litter box train all my puppies. And they get litter all over the floor because they're puppies. See that? Yep. So now it's clean the dog room time. I know, Tino. I know. Sweeping the floor, cleaning out the litter boxes, putting out fresh pee pads. That's just the start. Okay, now it's time to change out all of their bedding. I change out the crate beds every day so they are sleeping in fresh bedding. Hence, all that laundry I was telling you about. So now... It's time to my hair. Now it's time to fill all the water bottles. <laughs> now this is where I give a plug for these amazing little liquors. I swear by them. It keeps the water from slopping all over the floor. It just makes my life so much easier. You can pick them up from Paws and Tails. You can order them online during this quarantine and after, of course, which I will link below in the description of this video. After one more run for the dogs in the backyard and I get them all settled, it's my time. Now, my gym shut down last week per the Florida state mandates and I will tell you now, I have been struggling. I am so used to going to the gym every morning to do my cardio and then my weight training or boot camp in the afternoon or evening. I've had to get a bit creative and with my trainer Duncan's amazing advice and guidance, I'm making it work. Time to make my pre-workout. This has been my first major adjustment with this whole quarantine thing. So now I walk my neighborhood in the mornings, which has been quite interesting actually. Booby key. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
we go. First, it's quite interesting to see how many people are actually out moving and exercising and getting their walk day. on. Quarantine day. Look at that. Peace and beer. Here we go. Couples and families and individuals making the best of a pretty crappy situation. Morning. The thing is, we aren't even on a stay-at-home mandate yet. It's coming. We're all preparing. But I guess this is practice for the upcoming cabin fever I know we're all going to be experiencing really soon. I am totally digging the fact that there are so many dogs in my neighborhood. Good morning. Big and small. <laughs> Hi. And confident and not so confident. Getting them out is the best thing for them because I am definitely a big fan of socialization. Well, does she want to say hello? Are you okay with yeah. She's only 14. Oh, then this is definitely exactly what she needs. Hi. This is exactly what she needs. So now, I spend an hour walking briskly, of course, with intermingled sprints and downright running for a grand total of three miles every morning. Got my three mile mark in. Boop, boop. Gets my blood pumping and is a great way to start the day. After all of my dog chores, of course. <laughs> okay. Brisk walk and run. Now I gotta reach in the booby and get the key. Now it's time for my breakfast. Here's my problem. I normally eat six egg whites and one full egg. That meets all of my protein requirements, but there's an egg shortage. So I am sparingly eating my eggs and I'm eating four egg whites and one full egg and then cottage cheese to meet my protein. And of course my fruit because I worked out. Hi, Billy. Oh my goodness. Hi, Easy. After my breakfast, and of course playing with the dogs for a tad bit, what's a health conscious breeder preparing for a quarantine have next on her to-do list? Meal prep. Yeah. I cooked all of my fish last night. Now I'm gonna divide it out into little little compartments and I'm gonna store it in the fridge for the week. And that's usually how I do my meals. I fish and then the only chicken that I eat, I'll admit it, is the same stuff I use for bait for my dogs. But it's so good, the seasonings are awesome. So I'll put some of that in there. You, you, just, just watch along, you'll see what I do. Per my meal plan, I can eat a very specific amount of protein and fat for a total of five meals each day. Two of those meals, I like to include meat as my protein source. Everything I need. I will cook up several pounds of fish, and of course my frozen chicken, and then divide it out. Are you guys fighting over the little pieces? Really? On days that I work out, which apparently while I'm home seems to be every day, I'll eat some fruit. And then two of my meals, which you might want to call a snack, are actually protein shakes. Always make sure that this is tight and closed because I cannot tell you how many times I've shaken it and it goes everywhere. I like to get an entire week's worth of food prepared and store it in the fridge. When I'm on the road, I just grab the containers I need to be able to eat throughout the day and I take them with me. Oh my god, my hair. What? Well, it's now time for another meal, so I'm going to eat my shake. And then, of course, I pull from the fridge when I'm at home, which I will be, apparently, for the indefinite future. Another thing, my water. This jug is a lifesaver. I, I fill this every single day. I drink one gallon of water. Thank you, Duncan. My hair. Really? At least my roots are covered. <sighs> At this point in the day, I was all about making the last minute excursions to try to get the much needed supplies for a possible minimum of two weeks at home. A search for eggs and fresh fruit was on the top of my list and I assumed Walmart might be the one to have them in stock. Thank you very much. Okay, well clearly fresh produce is not an issue. Nice. Good to know. Pineapple. Let's hope they have eggs. No eggs. None. You can now add eggs to that ever-growing list of hoarded items that include toilet paper and toilet paper, and I believe milk and toilet paper. First thing, when you get out of Walmart, that. Sanitizer. Would you like to know who actually saved the day? It was Publix. <gasps> Do not, Jennifer Ann, get peanut butter. It's your arch nemesis. Oh my God. I love that. There's one jar. I can't do it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there are eggs. Because of the increased demand, two of each 
ไปนะ
do it again. Dig out all of those rosettes and of course the wind pictures and put them on the wall. Show them off. You earned them. You paid for them. Check out Facebook groups that share ideas on what to do with your ribbons and rosettes. Or simply gather them, and once we're finally free, run up to Michael's. Apparently, they're doing curbside delivery. I will be honest with you. Their felt back shadow boxes are way nicer than the Joann's version. So totally, totally worth the extra money. And speaking of photos, perhaps it's time for us to get all of those awesome dog photos off of our phones. Seriously, I am a total Insta whore. I love taking Instagram photos. Those cute little square images, OMG, I love them. Look at this cute little frame I found on clearance. People, it was 15 bucks. Hobby Lobby, get there quick, oh wait. Yeah, they closed. Anyway, when they open back up, run up there. I am totally going to be printing photos while I'm on quarantine. And I challenge you to get creative and get your photos off your phone. Put them on your wall any way you can. And then, of course, comes the things we can do with our dogs. Are you ready, Billy? Let's see how he does. Now, whether you are just starting out in the sport or have been doing this for years, we can all agree Training a dog to walk on a lead is a painstakingly tedious job. And don't sit here and tell me that you spend hours doing it because I know the majority of us walking in the ring with a completely untrained dog and we hope to God that they don't embarrass us too much. Oh yeah, I have quote unquote started training my dogs to walk in the ring. But perhaps the virus gods have decided to look upon us and give us this gift, a reduction in ring embarrassment with puppies and untrained dogs. So. Get out there and lead train your dog, people. We've got time and no excuses. Another one of those to-do list items that usually never seem to get on the to-done list? Yeah, that's nails. Our current specials and show dogs are usually getting the majority of our grooming attention and have the shortest nails. So now it's time to get to all the dogs in your house and get down to the quick. I love my setup. A Dremel and a Flexi attachment, the diamond head, all hooked to my Alexa, who is honestly my virtual best friend. Alexa, turn on and grind me. Okay. Get all those nails down, everybody. Everybody in the whole house. Everybody. No more clickety-click-click, especially now that we're going to be home and we have to listen to it all day. And speaking of all day, the end of my day found me sitting in front of my computer editing videos. Really? What are you doing? No. Ah. And printing out all of those fave photos off my phone to put in my new social media frames. I stayed up well into the night because that's what us night owls do, only to finally crash so that I could get up and do it all over again the next day. So with that, I would love to hear what other ideas all of our dog-loving people out there have. So be sure to leave comments with suggestions and inspiration on how we can keep ourselves and our dogs entertained during this very unfortunate time. And when all else fails, and you're still looking for something to do, I say jam to the music and dance because no one's watching, remember? We're all locked in our homes. <laughs> have fun and let the music flow. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, Peyton?